What's up, guys? Um, you know how sometimes things just make sense? Like everything just adds up, right? Well, again, a little bit about myself. I was raised uh, in a family that was very um, intertwined with music, and I was encouraged to experience music for myself. Now, I... Um, of course, you adapt a lot of your flavor and style from your parents when it comes to music, but I um, grasped, it on, grasped onto rock and roll, and um, and I've always been a, a metal fan. Um, and then about a year ago, I mean, I, I still am a metal fan, don't get me wrong, but about a year ago, I um, or ooh, now I guess it's been a little over that, it's been about a year and a half, um, I had always been a, a, a Misfits fan. Um, for any of you who don't know who the Misfits are, they are the creators of the horror punk genre. Um, also considered to be some of the forefathers, as well as the cramps of the psychobilly movement. Um, and I thought about Halloween's approaching, and I need to start do some Halloween decoration here at my house. And uh, thought I would make a video about psychobilly and rockobilly. And um, due to the fact that psychobilly is very much intertwined with Halloween, quote unquote, culture, culture, excuse me. Um, and I made a slideshow and I'm going to put it on after this, um, showing some images um, uh, of psychobilly and rockabilly culture. And I hope you guys enjoy. Now, disclaimer, I don't know why I'm into this. But there's something about the music that really connects with the culture of the music. Um, music itself takes a lot of its uh, influences from country music and then blends it with punk rock. And for some reason, it has to do a lot with um, the dead and zombies. I don't know why, but I love zombies and I love rockabilly and I hope you guys enjoy.